Live from Seattle, Washington, it's The Cube at Tableau Conference 2014. Brought to you by headline sponsor, Tableau. Here are your hosts, John Furrier and Jeff Kelly. Hello everyone, we are here live in Seattle for Tableau's user conference, technology conference, Data14, that's the hashtag Data14. Go to crowdchat.net slash Data14 if you want to see group conversation with our new innovative engagement container in public data, go, public beta, go check that out. I'm John Furrier, this is theCUBE. We go out and extract a signal noise, ending day one of Tableau's Data14. I'm here with my co-host this week, Jeff Kelly, uh, leading analyst in big data with Wikibon. Uh, Jeff, breaking it down. Um, I would sum up today as Kool-Aid, euphoric, exciting, growth, um, customers, and just the future's very bright for Tableau. Mm -hmm. um, clearly, big data is expanding. Um, obviously, Tableau made the market with visualization. They've identified their market segment. They're not trying to be the stack. They're trying to be, you know, dancing around the stack and be that layer, that shim layer on top for, uh, for visualization. What's yeah. your take? Well look, they uh, clearly, you know, they are excited. They feel like they've got a huge uh, opportunity from a total uh, available market standpoint. I mean, was it, we asked them what their TAM is. It's, well, there's 55 million uh, customers. Million uh, corporations out there. They're all, they're all possible mm -hmm. uh, Tableau customers. And, you know, they are in a in a market space, data visualization, which pretty much touches just about every, every vertical market you can think of. Um, clearly they're excited. Uh, you know, the, the keynote this morning, CEO Christian Chabot, uh, you know, he always gives a great keynote. He's very energetic. He really talks about empowering users to be uh, creative, to be data artists. He contrasts that with the kind of old way of doing business intelligence. Contrasts that with the uh, slow, rigid ways of the traditional of traditional enterprise software and how really Tableau wants users to feel like they're working with data, not with software. And I think that's a really good messaging. I think that's a really good, uh, really good point that he made. Um, you know, from the from the, the the point of view of the company itself, clearly they are in hyper growth mode. Um, you know, added 2,200 customers last quarter. They're up to 1,500 employees. That's up 65 percent year over year. Um, you know, they are investing heavily. He, uh, uh, Chabot mentioned they're going to invest more in the next two years in R&D than they have in the last 10. Um, you know, we had on a few, uh, we had on uh, Francois from Product Management. We know he's excited about that. He's that's certainly a, excited. That's a, lot of, that's a lot of dough to do a lot of uh, creative things. Um, you know, as I mentioned a few times throughout the day today, the biggest challenges for Tableau going forward are maintaining the customer focus while they're growing this quickly. It's I mean, it's just, just it's difficult to scale at the, at, the, at the rate that they are scaling and maintain the focus on customers and listening to your customers, giving, getting that feedback and pumping that back into the product. Uh, we'll see how they do that. They're going to have to rely more on their partners to do a lot of the, to be the touch points with a lot of their customers. You simply can't do it at the scale that they're, they're about, uh, they're, they're reaching. Um, so that's one of the biggest challenges. The other thing I mentioned early in the day was their mobile capabilities. Um, now they have a long way to go, but Project Elastic, I think, is one way to, I mean, they are rewriting Tableau for the tablet, for the mobile device. Um, that's a huge investment, really impressed with that, because clearly mobile is one area where they weren't the strongest, they know they have to go there, there's mobile first visualization competitors that they have to contend with now. Um, so really impressed with that. The cloud story, I think the cloud story needs a little bit more work. Um, it, we'll, we'll see how that plays out. We're going to have some more conversations tomorrow with Google, uh, with AWS, we'll, we'll talk to them about the integration with Tableau's uh, online offering. Uh, so overall, I'd say it was a really solid day. Uh, talked to a lot of partners as well. Um, so they're building the ecosystem, they're building the product, they're investing heavily. Um, and of course, they, they closed the stock exchange today uh, remotely out here on 7th and Pike. So that was, that was exciting for the Tableau team. So overall, you know, really, really good day here. I'm interested tomorrow again to talk to those cloud partners and we'll see uh, what they have to say. Um, I totally agree with you. I would add my, my impression and my, my takeaway from today is um, kind of at a high level is this is very Apple-like company. Um, the obviously, ironically, 
Apple had their big event on 9.9, which is today, the iPhone 6 Plus, all the innovation around that, the iWatch. This is really about user experience. That is certainly Tableau's strength. They are focusing on the user experience of, of managing data, using data, having it being visualizing, having it interactive uh, with end users, not so much geeks, but also, and then the analytics behind it. So data visualization analytics. And it's, but it's very Apple-esque like we heard from Francois, uh, the, who runs product management. They're hiring game developers, designers. They're doing the things that Apple does to make the product really simple and elegant. To me, that defines the culture of Tableau. You combine that with the customer-centric philosophy, you have a pretty damn impressive configuration there. And they're, they're, they're Amazon-like in that they are pumping all of their profit back into R&D and, and uh, back into the company. Uh, so you know, clearly they're still investing heavily. So you bring in the Amazon meets Apple, this is kind of the vibe, and again, product excellence is what they care about. They care about customer needs, so customer and product centric, product market fit, that defines it and the founders are still around. I love a culture where we had um, you know, their top, top executive, certainly you know, their top female executive as well, Kelly Wright come in. She's the first sales rep Tableau hired. There are people still with the company. No one's leaving, that's a great sign of health. You have a culture, Some, one customer, Dr. Randy called it a cult, a cult-like feeling. They pump special oxygen in the room, said Francois. These are some of the sound bites. People are smiling, they're smiling, they're dialing, deals are getting done, so Tableau is just scratching the surface. Again, 20,000 customers, they see 55 million as their total adjustable market. Again, if they can maintain that Apple-esque like feeling, managing that massive growth, managing a growing business at their, at their level, could be the biggest challenge I see with Tableau. Keeping the personnel hires in tight, making sure the culture extends, making sure the product excellence systems are in place, the discipline, and then ultimately having the customer satisfaction. To me, that's the, that's the, the things that, that I'll be watching, we'll be drilling in tomorrow. And again, I just tweeted, this puts Microsoft, Oracle, SAP on notice. The born in the cloud, visualization of analytics with the user experience component is a really, really, interesting proposition. If they pull on that horizontal overlay on top of existing systems, Tableau could set the standard for the visualization layer for data. With the analytics engine and their GL behind it, they could be the operating system in this born on the cloud SaaS platform as a service market that we see developing very quickly. Yep, and looking forward to tomorrow. We're going to kick off the morning. We're going to be uh, simulcasting the keynote here from Neil deGrasse Tyson from uh, well, I was going to say Cosmos fame, he's done a few other things, uh, but uh, nevertheless, that should be uh, a fun keynote to watch. Uh, and then of course, here on theCUBE, we're going to have, just, just run down some of, the, some of the guests we're going to have. We're going to have folks from LinkedIn, Wells Fargo, uh, I mentioned AWS, Google, um, Mark Logic, and a few others. So it's going to be a good day. Uh, tomorrow, I'm sure, we're going to dig more into all these issues around mobile cloud, partnerships, the ecosystem, and of course, practitioners, end users, what are they doing with Tableau, with data, uh, to really get business done, so. So I got the final question I want to ask you, Jeff Kelly, is will you buy an iPhone 6 and an iWatch? I will definitely buy an iPhone 6. I'm a little, I'm not the f early, early adopter, so I'll probably wait for the second generation of the iWatch. Although I believe, John, it's called the Apple Watch. They've, they've, they're not calling it iWatch. I okay. think I do have that right. Well, to me, I'm geeking out on the watch. I'm definitely buying it, no brainer, getting that. That's just pure vanity. I haven't worn a watch in 25 years. And <laughs> so that's going to be my first watch. It's going to be exciting. You know, like I said, you know, at Google and Apple are the, are the only two companies that I, I can put out there that I can see inventing everything that was shown on Star Trek. Soon, everything that was ever in Star Trek, beam me up, Scotty, hologram, all that stuff will be invented by Apple and Google. And, and again, that's what we're seeing with the, and certainly it's going to be a big data world. Um, certainly an exciting day today, live in Seattle. We were um, also watching what was going on with Apple. Those news is everywhere. I mean, there's so much Apple news going around. But again, ironically, the tie in here with Tableau, very Apple-esque company for big data. And if they can crack the nut on the growth and continue to provide the user experience having a very simple and elegant, easy to use product provides that value, they will be a winner. And that's ultimately the test, Jeff, so exciting. We'll be here all day tomorrow. Keep watching theCUBE. This is live from Seattle, calling it a day one. That's a wrap, see you tomorrow. <laughs>